home to some of the most vicious and technically skilled fighters in the world, the UFC has no shortage of prime talent. Among its many fighters, Michael the Menace Johnson is one that embodies the spirit of a warrior. Much like the Diaz brothers, Johnson is the kind of fighter you would describe as a gladiator in the ring. Ever since his official UFC debut back in 2008, he has fought his way through the featherweight and lightweight divisions with no signs of slowing down. For the record, Johnson does not have the most impressive statistics in the UFC. However, stats don't tell the whole story. With 20, 18, and 0, one might assume that he's not a force to be reckoned with. Yet, in a sport that many can't withstand, he's fought in the pinnacle for 14 years now, taking home some surprising victories even when touted as the underdog. His wins against Dustin Poirier and Tony Ferguson are among some of his biggest highlights. One of the biggest moments in UFC history was the slugfest battle that took place in 2017 between Michael Johnson and Justin Gaethje. Both fighters went with their hearts on their fists, trading blows and taking some impressive trades. The fight resulted in a combined total of 195 strikes in less than 10 minutes. Although Johnson lost by KO, that night was something truly special for the sport, showing that on the right day, Johnson is an absolute menace in the ring. He has a record of 9 wins by knockout in his 38 fights. Even through heartbreaking defeats and a 4-fight losing streak, Johnson managed to bounce back in 2022 with a victory over Alan Patrick at UFC Fight Night in May. Johnson favors the southpaw stance and originally emerged from a wrestling background. He was one of the top NJCAA wrestlers in the country, but when the opportunity made itself available, he opted to pursue mixed martial arts. He's a member of Killcliffe FC, a gym that was formerly known as Sanford MMA. Some other members of this gym include fighters like Michael Chandler, Gilbert Burns, and Kumaro Usman. His fighting technique is one that varies with no signature attributed to him. We will give him credit as he's quite impressive with his striking, with most of his recent fights taking place with trades to his opponents. After his fight with Khabib Nurmagomedov, Johnson likely took a hit to his performance and many pundits will attest to the fact that it is something that affected his confidence in the ring. His recent fights have shown a massive improvement though, and Johnson is showing a newfound effectiveness with his wrestling and grappling skills. In December 2022, Johnson is scheduled to face off against Mark Chikasi at UFC on ESPN 42. If he can manage to squeeze out another victory this year, it could mark a full-fledged return to form for the 36-year-old fighter. Many expect Johnson to prove doubters wrong and show a strong victory in this bout.